Hello everyone, welcome to your channel. I'm very excited to share with you this brand new nifty tool called as Llama3.java. This tool enables you to run Llama3 based Llama3.2 and Llama3.1 models locally with a single Java file. And this Java file is self-contained. You don't have to install any dependencies. That's the beauty of it. So in this video, we are going to install it locally and then I will show you how you can run this Llama 3.2 model in a quantized format, all self-contained without any dependencies and we will also run it in a couple of modes. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so please do check them out. Okay, coming back to this tool which is Llama3.java. This is a fairly interesting tool. This tool is based or you could say that successor of Llama2.java, which is a um, predecessor tool. And then that Llama2.java is based on Llama2.c by Andrej Karpati, who has done some wonderful work in the field. Now, all of these projects like Llama2.c, Llama2.java, they are the implementation of local inference in a pure either C language or in this case, Java language. And it is quite cool to see uh, new and novel ways people are coming up with to do the local inference. And the reason why I am so excited about this Java implementation is not only that we have now another option, but also Java is quite performant. Java is still very much relevant. Java's just-in-time compilation, which is called as JIT compilation, and garbage collection capabilities are legendary. They enable efficient memory management and optimization, allowing it to run faster and more reliably. Also, Java <clears throat> is a platform independent, and its byte code compilation enable it to leverage native machine-specific optimization that further increases the performance. So that is why having this project <clears throat> based in Java is quite interesting. And as I said, the salient feature of this Llama3.java tool is that it's a single file, no dependencies. Also, it supports the GGUF format, which is a quantized model. Now, if you don't know what a quantized model is, I already have done few videos on it, but for a quick one, normally when these models are created, they are created in a full precision in the numerical uh, format which is a 32 bit but you would need a real beefy gpu with maybe more than 80 gb of vram to run it now not everyone has that of course so for that if you want to run those models on commodity gpus like 8 gb 16 gb vram or even cpu what they do is they reduce the precision of or the numerical representation of that model from 32 bit to 16 bit or 8 bit or 4 bit or even now we have ternary uh, LLMs where it just gets represented into ternary bit. So that's how we reduce the size of the model. Its memory footprint gets reduced and we can run them on our commodity hardware with lesser VRAM and that is what is called as quantization. So this Llama 3 dot java supports the quantized model and at the moment it only supports q8 and q4 quant levels also we can run it in two modes chat and instruct and that is what we are going to see shortly so first step which we need to do is to go to our terminal let me take you there so this is my terminal where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 you can run it on windows and mac all you need to do is to use the same commands and let me show you my GPU card too, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM, but you can run it on 4 GPU of VRAM too. So that is all done. Now the first thing, as I said earlier, you would need is Java installed. Make sure that you have a recent version of Java installed. So let me show you my Java version. I am running this OpenJDK 21. So you can go with uh, 20, open JTK 22, 23, but make sure that you don't go any less than that. 
Now, if you don't have it installed, let me show you how you can install it on Ubuntu. For Windows, all you need to do is to just download the exe from openjtk.org or from Oracle's website and then run it next next and it will install it. So if you want to install it on Ubuntu, first step you need to do is to search in your uh, repository. So you see it shows that this is a 21 is the latest one which is available. And once you have that, all you need to do is to run this command. Let me clear the screen and then just simply run this command. Open JDK 21-JDK and that is a stable version which is available at the moment. So I already have it installed so I'm not going to install it again. So let's remove it. Another tip I would highly suggest you to do is to install JBank. Now, if you're not a Java developer, you have never worked in Java, this might sound a bit strange, but installing Java, managing its program is pain in the back, to be honest. So JBank resolves that issue. JBank enables you to run Java very easily without any setup. So <clears throat> that is a cool thing about JBank. Its installation is so simple. And in order to install JBank, all you need to do is to run this command. This downloads the JBank for you and then it installs it on your local system. So if I download it, so it says that my JBank environment is already set up. So I don't have to do anything. If I want to reinstall it, I will just add dash dash force. But once you run this command, it just installs JBank on your local system and that's all you needed to do. So we have installed JBank and we have also um, installed and configured our Java with the latest version. Next step, let's download the model. So I have cleared the screen. Let's create a directory called as my models. Let's cd into it. And then let's use this curl command to download this model from Hugging Face. So you can see I'm just downloading this Llama 3.23 billion instruct in GGUF format with Q4 quad. And that is already done. So if I do the ls-ltr, you will see that I have my Llama 3.23 billion model in Q4 quad installed. Let's clear the screen. Let's go one directory back and then clear the screen again, just to keep it uh, clean. Next up, let's git clone the repo of this Llama 3 dot Java. And that is done. And then now let's cd into it. And we are into that directory. Next up, let's verify our setup. So if you do ls-ltr here, you will see that we have simple one Java file. That is all we needed, llama3.java. In order to check it with jbang, just simply type this command, jbang llama3.java dash dash help. And that should show you the help here. That's, there you go. So our Java is good, our jbang is good and llama3.java is working. As you can see, it is showing us the help of llama3.java. Now let's do the inference. Let me clear the screen. And first up, I'm going to do the inference in the instruct mode where I will just say jbang llama3.java, the model which we have just downloaded in this directory and our prompt, what is happiness? Let's run it. It is going to load the model and then it is going to start doing the inference. There you go. So it is all running self-contained, no dependencies, no setup, all through Java. And if you really think about it, you can simply embed <coughs> this sort of inference in your existing Java programs. And there are heaps of them all across the globe. Not only th that, Java also runs on most of the devices, edge devices and all that stuff. So you can simply just run this model on the devices quite easily with the help of Java. You just need to download the model. You just need to download this Java file, uh, this llama3.java. And if the Java is already installed on your device, you just call it like this with either through JBank or there are other ways too. If you don't want to use JBank, you just want to use Java, you can simply call it through the Java compiler. And in their GitHub repo, they have also shared that command. So how good is that? Um, so that's done. Let me also show you how you can run the chat with it. Before I do that, 
let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at agent ql who are sponsoring the video agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql is resilient reusable it works on any page and it structures output according to the shape of your query it is quite a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors and uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for okay so let's go back here it is still printing i'm just going to say Control c here and let's clear the screen next up let me show you how you can do the chat with this llama 3 dot java so i'm just going to paste the same command and i have added this dash dash chat switch towards the end so it is parsing it not as chatting with you you can just start chatting with it like you say hello and then wait for the model to respond let's check it out taking a bit of a time the model is saying how can i assist you today and then you can just start chatting with it and model is just starting responding to you so you see that model is just responding that it's just a language model so i don't have feelings or that sort of stuff so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this tool uh, i think the main attraction of this tool is to run it on the devices where we already have a java and you can run llama 3.2 model easily there if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching